Hello everybody, you're here with Claro Beauty with your host Claudia Lara. Thank you very much for tuning in. So today we are going to be talking about something that I have pending for you all, which is about face brushes. So if you're interested in this, please keep on watching. Now, uh, two business <laughs> to attend. One is if you wanna see what I have on my face, uh, I'll link the video down below. I'm also wearing two foundations. So if you see a slight difference in the base color, that's what you're seeing, but you can see all about it in the video link down below. And what was the other kind of business that I had to say? I forgot. Uh, oh, well, I do have an eye brush video. So if you wanna watch all about eye, you know, eye brushes, I'll link it down below as well. So let's begin. Now, uh, if you saw my vanity tour, uh, you saw that I have this one on top of my vanity. I have another one bigger for my eye brushes, but this is what I have for my face brushes. And then this is my most used. And then I do have um, this other kind of door. Uh, full of other face brushes, which I use less, but that doesn't mean I don't utilize them because all of these have very special purpose or thing I use them for. So uh, I do pull them out if I use the product that I usually have for them. Uh, I also have another door full of the powder brushes. So I don't know if I'm gonna be able to go through all the doors because I don't wanna um, keep this video too long. So we'll see uh, how far we go. And then uh, this is a more thorough video and then I'll make another one with a summary or if not a summary, like a, a choice of three or four or five maybe. That way, you know, you, you see what you prefer to watch. So, um, so let's continue. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do at this moment. I don't know if I already said that. Uh, all right, I just wanna say it at the beginning and at the end. Do, 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 do. All right, so um, let's open this baby up, move it a little bit off the way. Now, uh, very simple. For foundation, I use my IT Cosmetic Number no. 7 Duo. I own three or four of this baby. So here's the second one, and I have two others in my bathroom. Uh, why? Because I utilize them for foundation, I utilize for cream bronzers, and you can put concealer. I find this the best. Of course, I also have the Beauty Blender, and, uh, and of course, I have several, but I'll show you this one, which is more foundation application. But uh, even though I own many others for foundation, really, the one that I use most of the time is this one. Yes, if I need a little bit, I will mix it with a little blender, I'll use my fingers, etc. So, for foundation, IT Cosmetics number seven, without a doubt, that will be my recommendation. Now I do own this Lisa Eldridge blush that came with, um, with her foundation, the foundation from Lisa Eldridge. So that's why I bought this. And yes, it works perfect, it's lovely, uh, but I guess it's just a matter of preference or familiarity. Um, why do I like this number seven so much is, and I already put them away, because uh, it helps me go very fast because it's kind of spread. It makes everything look nice, makes it well, very simple. And so that's why I like it. With this, I feel it takes a little longer. I have to be more precise. It, it will leave a strike. You know, again, it's just, how you feel about it. The same as a sponge. I feel like I have to go there forever. However, the sponge really makes it uh, become your skin. So sometimes you can apply that on top, but I usually just go with this. Now, this is, I'm going to the other door that I have very specifics because of course, I just remember there is the Westman Atelier brush. 
uh, well, she has another foundation. Maybe this is not exactly the good example. Okay, never mind. But I will. There's the Merit also uh, sort of brush. So this too, I guess you can use for the foundation sticks for Merit or for Westman Atelier and you can apply it. The reason I kind of stopped myself is because Westman Atelier also has something very similar to the one I just showed you from Lisa Eldridge, which I don't own. And so, and I don't use this one for her foundation stick. I actually will use the IT Cosmetics. So let's move on, but that this is for foundation, my favorite. Um, so what others do I have here in my most use? This one, I'm not gonna talk much about it because it's not available anymore. This is the Wayne Goss Universal. I think this came for a holiday. Um, and so, uh, this one is very, very useful for universal <laughs> everything. Bronzer, blush, highlight. But again, why talk about something you can't get? There's another one, Wayne Goss, which is a lot smaller. Uh, that is also, I think, the, I don't remember what the one, I think this is called. I think this comes and goes in availability, but I don't think it's available at this moment, so I won't talk much about it. Now, what are my favorite brushes? Of course, I don't know if you see a lot of YouTubers, uh, but it is the favorite of many, which is the Sonia G brushes. Now, Sonia G um, makes her brushes in Japan, just like uh, some of the major brands and they are the highest of quality and uh but they most of the time sold out so she brings them back and they sell out and you have to wait but uh you know she does bring them back so if you want them just go to beautylish is the only place i know that sells them beautylish beautylish.com i'll list it down below and then you look for sonia g and she sells sets and then individual so um, I never purchased uh, a set of the big ones. I did purchase a set of the small ones, which I'll get to, but uh, I did buy most of this individually and I started with few and then I started adding. So at this moment, I should have bought the set. It would have been, it's not that much less expensive, but it's just easier, you know, you get them all together and you don't have to guess work. But, um, at this moment, it's like, why buy a set when I own most of them, right? So I'll see and I'll list down below what I recommend for you if you have, if you don't have any. But if you wanna start slow individually, I'll tell you what I use the most. So the must have, must have, is this Sculpt 2. Now this Sculpt 2, and I never thought I would like it. I'm not a very big one on this thin, very precise, blah, blah, blah. But this one is thick enough that you can use it for blush. You know, you kind of use this part only and it kind of works as a blush because you can't see that I'm not using the full blush, but that's what I'm doing. I'm only using this part. So it's sort of like if I was using this, right? I mean, sort of. So you can really use it just for blush. You can really like apply yourself to make it for the contour. You can really, I wouldn't use it for highlighter or powder, but you know, it can be that versatile. I mean, look, I use this for everything and look at how different it is, right? This is the Wayne Goss that I started with. So it's thinner and it is a little more wider, you know, this whole thing. I'm not gonna talk about something you can't get right now, but so this, I think it's a must have if you're really starting to put more makeup together. I mean, look, I started and I'll show you this and I talk about the eye brushes, this brand, Real Techniques. This is a drugstore brand and it usually comes three inside a package and they're like $15 or $20. So this is very inexpensive, but this is how I started. And so you could do with this and that's it. And what is this Real Techniques? You can use it as bronzer, you can use it as blush, you can use, I mean, this is as versatile as it gets. So if you're starting up and you don't want something very expensive, this works perfectly. So this is real techniques. 
Uh, now, I don't use this that much. I wouldn't choose this one. I do see a difference, but it took me many years to see the difference. I'm just gonna mention it. This is not real hairs, uh, but it works with every product. So if you wanna start that way, but now if you wanna, you know, what I do use now and what I prefer and would recommend to my sister, to, you know, anybody. So Sculpt 2, I think is a must have. And then I will recommend you something for a blush, which is thinner. Now I will recommend this Designer Pro, also from Sonia G. And you can see the collection because it's red. She usually, depending on the collection, has changed the color of the, of the part. So um, you'll see all the red and then she'll, you'll see all the blue. And then she has other that has a little more pastel -y. So you see what kind of set what kind of it belongs to so that's easier to know but so this one are the the red and so i would recommend this too for example and of course a foundation blush because you have contour you have a little bit of blush with more uh, you know more concise kind of thing and then you have thinner if you really just want to put the blush in the front or if you want to put the highlight or if you want to even uh buff your eyeshadow i mean the powder this one great size so i would recommend this two to star from her brand for sure very useful now um let's continue on so this i use a lot then of course i got this one this one is uh chick pro so chick pro is a little flatter and a little more uh fuller right so this one will be the most used for blush. It, it feels a little more concise. This one feels a little more bluffy and more thin because of the pointy. But I recommend this one. Of course, I said this too first because the pointy part makes it easy if you want to emphasize, if you want to put just a highlighter, if you want to buff it up. This one will become a little more messier in that sense, but it will work. Now, I bought this more for blush. If you want to just put in the cheek, you know, right here. Oh, my God, this is perfect. Like, it really goes there. Yes, you can use this on the side or even in the pointy to be more precise, but more on the sides for the same thing. However, um, I would use more this. Now, that's if I really give it a thought. The reality is when I'm doing my makeup, I pick the one that, oh, this one, oh, that one. So I will pick this or I will pick this. And I would use either but if you want it to be more precise on what I'm using and why. Now, the third one that I think is amazing, um, and I say third because remember I said, if you just wanna start with two, I will use this too. This will be the third one. This one is amazing for uh, powder. So this is a smoother, smooth buffer. Now we're going to the blue set. Now this one, if you use a uh, powder and then you just buff like this, or even if you're not using powder, let's say I put blush and I overdid it. Of course you buff it up with this, right? Ticket, 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 ticket. But you still, or the edges, you want it just to melt a little more, look more natural. This is amazing. You really, you can really work it out even now and if you have, you start getting, um, you know, a little sweaty or something like that, get a little powder and you just bring this or no powder, right? And you just buff it up and it cleans the makeup. It just makes it look much nicer. So, so I would really recommend this as a third, you know, TDD three, right? Now let's continue one, um, that is usually available and is usually 40% and it has very high quality because they're also real hairs. Um, it is the refer. This you hear all the YouTubers talk about it because uh, the prices are very good for the quality that you're getting. I don't know who's behind this brand, but it's definitely somebody that knows what they're doing and is just trying to help us out. You know, one of those that get access to the real quality stuff and they just bring it up more accessible without the brand name or the bigger thing. I don't know how they do it. 
But this is one that everybody's talking about it, and that's the reason why, because they're very good, high quality, and very simple. And, and so this is uh, one of my favorites from the brand, uh, Refer, and this is uh, 24. I think it's very similar to, they started with one, two, and three, something like that, you know, low numbers. And it's the same brush as one of those. And then they come up with another ones and they wear in their 20s, so 24, 27, something like that, I think. So I think they're the same as number three or number two, something like that. So either way, but I prefer this 24. And I'll tell you something I really like about this. I mean, if you notice, this is on dye, so it's white. The on dye hair is usually is better for cream products and for powders and for bake powders the ones that are very hard to get from the pan uh you know some powder products that are, you're like you know i put the brush and nothing well you need a little harder sort of uh way to to pick it up the product um so the undye usually work better for those products um so this color obviously is better for powders not for cream this is uh dye hair they're all real hair so this one is very useful for that because it can be used for cream uh, or powder i usually don't use this for cream it's too big or i don't know i just feel weird about it but you could i use this for those bake powders the ones that are very hard to pick up or and the blushes that are too uh bright for me like too much color uh, will show up on my cheek so then I just sort of pop paw on the color and then pop paw like I don't blur it I just sort of apply it and then perhaps I will blur or I will then take something like this and blur uh, and if you notice I will pick this one to blur instead of you know like this one because this one's like too soft and nice so this is for a nice little blush you know soft very thin sort of powder we're talking when it's the powder the consistency is a little thicker and uh and it's a lot of color payout it's not like soft and it becomes your skin it's more like you apply it and it shows and then you really want to buff it out i would use this instead it's just much bigger it's just much it, it helps me do it better and i wouldn't go with this where you really are just piling it you know no that's why I say this one is a must have. Uh, so that's when I will pull this one out. And sometimes when I pull it, then it stays in the front and then I pull it a lot more often. But I do believe this is also extremely useful. Remember, the ones I'm showing you are the ones that are on top of my desk. So this to me are must have for my everyday. Of course, you don't need all of them. I show you the three that I will get. Uh, so let's continue. Now, I do have this Sigma. This is not real hair. And I bought this because it was very recommended for a highlighter. Uh, it's very thin. It's much more thinner, you see? I mean, smaller. And so, and it's smaller than this, you see that? So yes, but uh, to tell you the truth, I think I would have prefer real hair uh, than this. So perhaps get the other Sonia G that is thinner. There's another one that is thinner to do that highlight effect. But I had too many brushes and this will do. So I haven't purchased the next one. And so I you do this for the highlight. And the fact that it's not real hair, um, it's, it's supposed to pick up the pro a lot more product. But I tell you, this is not one of my favorites, but it is a favorite out there. That's why I ordered it. Now, I do have this other, uh, this is also a favorite. This is Smatchbox. Smatchbox, and the reason I purchased this, um, it is for cream blushes. So for cream blushes, and this is uh, synthetic, it's not real hair. So um, it's very good for uh, the cream blushes. But I have to say, I alter alternate between this. Of course, you can use a sponge, uh, but I usually don't. I use my finger or I use 
this or this and i prefer this one so this is smashbox much less expensive synthetic but you can really use it see how small it is so it really helps you be precise and you can smash right but then i have this one which is sonia g and this came in a set and this is available uh kabaki set or kamaki set oh please excuse me i'll list it down below these are come in five um five brushes in the set now the complaint that i've heard about it is this is sort of a travel size look at the difference in size this is a regular size this is it um but to me it doesn't bother me that it's this small because there's actually one um sonia g uh blush full size uh with this exact kind of hairs and size not this one, I don't own it. And the actual part of the hairs is the same size as this. So the difference between that and this is the size of the handle. And to me, it doesn't bother me. And so um, I'm okay with this, but if you wanna get the full size, you can. Now this one, especially lately, well, the trend has been a lot of cream blushes. Oh my God, I use it and pull it out all the time. Yes, I have this option. But to tell you the truth, I prefer this. Why? Because it's softer, it is more precise, and it grabs the product better uh, because it has a little more consistency. This one, I don't know. It works, but mm -mm, I prefer this one. And you get five brushes, and they're all very useful. Yes, this is the one I use the most. And do I have it right here? Da -da -da -da. See if I show you the, what comes in the other five. I, I move where I used to have them and I'm not sure what I did with the other five. So I'll show you in another short video the five that comes with this. Uh, I just shift them recently, that's why I can't find it. But anyhow, there's three eyeshadows, eye brushes, and two, this one, and kind of a powder sort of uh, but brush, but it's very soft. So to tell you the truth, I don't use that one that much. The eyes, yes. So four out of the five I utilize the most, but this one makes the whole kit. So do I recommend it? Yes, for sure. So now we're talking about four must-haves, right? I would say this one, this one, this one, and this one. Those are four that I think I use them all the time. And then of course there's the refer, if you want that variety and it's different, you, I do use it for different things. And then of course, if you wanna get more detail, there's this one, which is the um, Cheek Pro. And then the other one that I don't know, which is for highlight, if you didn't have anything, right? All right, so uh, let's move it along and I'm just gonna show you two more and then we'll wrap up this video and I'll do another one with the rest. So I own this one. If you see, this is undye hair. So it's also very good for cream. You see, it goes with the refer, it goes with the universal undye hair. Now, I bought this, this is Sculpt One, because I love this one so much, but I don't use it that much. I barely, I mean, I started using it for bronzer, you see how I stained it? <laughs> and it's supposed to be like great to uh, take a lot more space, you know, so you bronze yourself a lot quicker, a lot faster, a lot more real estate, whatever. Mm, I do everything with this. Um, so I'm glad I have it. I wouldn't return it, but I wouldn't say you have to buy it. I think because there's some products that you buy and it takes you a while to see the value or the utilization of them. So I have a feeling that I will find something that this is gonna be like to go, but I haven't yet. And so, mm, very big difference. Look at that, yeah. It's longer, shorter, bigger, wider, and you know. But I use this for everything. Now, there's this other one. Oh, I have another ref, is this refer? Oh no, this is a Sephora. This is older generation. I think this is what? Synthetic complexion powder. All right, so this one reminds me a little bit of the refer and the even, 
<laughs> real techniques. Of course, it's professional because you can use it for blush. You can use it. It is a little thicker, so it will pick up the product and things like that. And I say old generation because um, uh, I bought it before and I started using this before I discovered Sonia G. So I don't think I will spend a lot of time. This is synthetic hair, so it's very useful for those baked powders or for creams. So again, it will go in this kind of category. Um, but no, I don't think, I, I, if it's for that, I much will recommend you to get the four Sonia G's that I just mentioned, if it, and that will help you for cream wash and everything else. Now, last from this scenario, because I have this one too, but I'll, I'll mention this with the other door in the next video. So um, the last one I'm gonna mention here will be this Sonia G, Niji Pro. This is new generation. I mean, new, she just came up with this. And I, I really like this. Um, it is soft. You can use it for finishing powder. You can use it for bronzer. You can use it for blurring, right? So basically you can use it for most of the things that I mentioned from the other four. Uh, and I do pull it out for many reasons. It is big, um, but it is, it has that full consistency and soft and, and it is a mix of hair, so cream and powder. So I can't tell you exactly why I pull it out all the time. Again, that old powder all over, perhaps from the meteorize to finish, finish powder or to blur or many different things, the, the bronzer. So this is kind of a universal, but universal, very specific because this universal is buffy and light and soft and things natural. This is more, I want bronzing, I want blurring. I mean, this one is more heavy duty, if that makes sense. So I wouldn't necessarily say it's a must have, but uh, I think it, it does help to have it in your collection for certain things. But in summary, I will recommend you those four that I mentioned, which is this three and this, and I think you can do everything uh, with that and the highlighter one if you prefer I'll list down below what it is and of course the foundation brush or sponge and so please let me know if if this is helpful and please let me know what your favorite brushes are and what for and uh, please subscribe to my channel comment down below uh, ring the bell in the right hand corner and uh, thumbs up and uh, I will do next my other door of uh, brushes. And then I will do next, uh, I guess this one sort of also give you a summary of what I think the most haves should be or are for me. So we'll see if I do a third, but uh, so far I hope this was helpful and thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.